pathology is at the center of providing the right diagnosis. At this time, pathology is at a very interesting crossroads. While its prominence in providing the right diagnosis is ever increasing, the challenges are that there is a shortage of pathologists across the country. The amount of knowledge that the pathologist needs on a day-to-day -day basis is also ever increasing. Artificial intelligence is an additional layer that the pathologist can reliably use in their daily practice to become more efficient, to point out the areas of, on which they should focus on, and thereby doing the things that are most important in once the cancer is diagnosed to accurately characterize it. Most of the times pathologists spend their energy and resources uh, mentally in trying to identify areas of cancer and ruling out cancer. What artificial intelligence can do is to allow you to focus by pre-selecting some of these areas of cancer and then for the pathologist to focus on those areas that are important and do all the things that they are trained to do in terms of better characterization of the cancer so that the information is reliable for additional patient care. In order to provide an accurate diagnosis, we as pathologists often, when we have a positive diagnosis of cancer, share the case with another pathologist. What we don't do and which should be done is to actually even share some of the negative biopsies that don't have cancer. What AI does is it screens the biopsies agnostic of whether there is cancer or not, and almost to an extent when it is applied, provides 100% QC in looking for areas that are not cancer and identifying the areas of cancer. So in effect, it's a 100% prospective quality control or quality assurance to the pathologist of an additional layer of read and thereby providing an excellent way of prospective quality control. So in order to check the reliability of the AI algorithm, one of the questions that we asked is, what is the utility of the IBEX algorithm in the diagnostic workflow of prostate biopsies? This question was asked in a large network of pathology laboratories in the south of France called Medipath. The study was comprised of 100 patients who were initially diagnosed as not having cancer. In these 100 patients, they often get multiple biopsies, and so the study set comprised of 800 slides. The study was set up and the instrument and algorithm was uh, calibrated in such a way that the sensitivity of detection of cancer was 97% and the specificity once identified was 99%. In the study, 15 patients who were initially diagnosed as being benign were flagged off as having been suspicious for cancer. So the study comprised of 25 slides from these 15 patients that were then subject to further expert review. The study found that 12% of the patients, or 12 patients who were diagnosed as not having cancer, were actually had cancer as confirmed by one of two experts, and I had the opportunity and privilege to review these slides. In the 12 patients who were initially diagnosed as being benign, when we go back and look at which were the cases that were missed, the misses spanned a spectrum and a gamut of pathology. While as expected, there were some small foci of cancer that was missed, very interested, interestingly and un unexpectedly, we found that foci larger than three millimeters were sometimes missed, and there were higher grade cancers, Gleason score four plus three, that were also missed in the study. So my overall impression was that I would have expected that the pathologists who may not have the experience or who have high volume of cases to look at may miss small foci of cancer. But was, what was interesting to find is that there were some cases that were larger volume or of higher grade cancer. So my take home uh, message from this study is that AI is a perfect companion for pathologists who are looking at a lot of diagnostic material or may not have the expertise to look at this material uh, with that level of confidence. The ability for AI to not only detect small 
for self cancer that can be missed by pathologists is a validation of its value. But more interestingly and importantly, higher grade cancers that may be very small or sometimes higher volumes of cancer that may be missed because of deceptive aspects in pathology are an important contribution to where AI can help. Most importantly, this is a 100% prospective quality assurance that the pathology department, the pathologist, and the patient gets when AI is employed with competent diagnostic pathology. The field of pathology has been labeled as one of the drawbacks is that it is a subjective specialty. We as pathologists spend enormous time in laboriously trying to identify the small foci of cancer that we may miss. So AI in prostate biopsies has certain very important roles. First is to identify the focus of cancer. Once identified, to quantitate the amount of cancer, which AI can do in a very objective manner rather than a percentage eyeball estimate. And then to provide the Gleason grade, which is most critical for the management. Other aspects that AI in, in the prostate algorithm could detect is the presence of high-grade prostatic intraepithelial neoplasia and other features of cancer which may have prognostic importance such as perineural invasion. Importantly, in patients who do not have invasive prostatic carcinoma, the AI can identify foci of high-grade prostatic intraepithelial neoplasia which may be important in subsequent management of these patients. What AI does is that it takes away not only the subjectivity but provides that additional prospective quality control and quality assurance that we are looking at the right foci. But once we identify the right areas of cancer or the areas that are suspicious for cancer, it allows us to use our energies for what we are best trained to and that is to provide all the characteristics and the attributes of cancer that are important for subsequent management for the patients with prostate cancer. So this is a great win for not only pathologists, but for the patients who ultimately are being subjected to this diagnostic procedure.